Hello what's up guys today in this tutorial I'll show you a quick and easy way to introduce the answer of a dance video by using after effects. You can use this concept for any other videos to introduce any particular character of a video or any elements of a video. Let's have a look what we're gonna create in this tutorial. So without further ado, let's get started. Here in After Effects, let's create a new composition. I am gonna set the width as 1920 pixel and height as 1080 pixel and frame rate 30 fps and duration about 2 minutes. Let's call it as main com and hit ok. Now import the dance video clip to the project panel. For this right click here, go to import, then go to file and select the dance video clip like this. Now drag the dance video clip to the timeline like this. Once you have imported the dance video clip to the timeline, check the clip once to cut out any unnecessary portion from that video clip that you don't want to show to the viewers. In my case, I don't want to show the second dancer which is playing in slow motion and the rest of the dancers are playing in normal speed. So I will cut out this second dancer from this video clip. For this, I have to choose the starting and ending point of the second dancer. In my case, the second dancer starts playing at 3 point. 1 for second. If we navigate the previous frame, you can see that the first dancer is appearing. That means this is exactly the position where the second dancer starts playing. So here in this point, let's select the layer and press Ctrl Shift D on the keyboard to split the layer like this. Now we will choose the ending point of the second dancer. In my case, the second dancer ends at 9.04 second. If we navigate the next frame, you can see that the third dancer is appearing. That means this is exactly the position where the second dancer ends playing. So right on that point, split the layer by pressing Ctrl Shift D on the keyboard like this. Now select this layer and press delete on the keyboard to delete this layer. Now select this layer and press O on the keyboard to move the time anchor to the end frame. Now select this layer and press the open square bracket to move the layer to the time anchor like this. Now we have successfully cut out the second dancer from this video clip. Once you have finalized the video clip, select all the layers and right click and pre-compose. Let's call it as dance comp. Now select this option, move all attributes in the new composition and hit OK. Now we will choose one particular poster for every dancer and right on that poster we will introduce that dancer. Let's begin with the first dancer. To choose the base poster of a dancer, navigate frame by frame using this previous frame and next frame button. Let's move through frames by using these two buttons like this. So I am liking this poster. So right on that poster, I will introduce the first dancer. For this, select this layer and press Ctrl D two times to duplicate the layer twice. Now select both the layers and press Alt and Open Square Bracket on the keyboard to delete the portion before the time anchor like this. Now go to layer then go to time, select freeze frame. 
Now after this point what we have done is that the dance clip starts playing from the very first frame and when it reaches this frame it freezes out. So we will use this freeze frame to introduce the dancer. Now let's rename that layers. The first one let's call it as white stroke. And second one, let's call it as blue was. Now by selecting the white stroke layer, choose the pen tool and create a marks around the dancer. You don't need to be perfect, just roughly create a marks just to cover the dancer. So we have created the marks around the dancer. Let's solo the layer for better understanding. Now create one more mask to cover this area. Like this. Now you can see that the marks in this area is not working. So to fix this, expand the layer. Go to marks. Then in max 2, change the add to subtract. So now it is working. Now go to effects and preset panel and search for an effect called stroke. Now select the white stroke layer and double click on it to apply like this. Now change the brush size to 15. Now you can see that the white stroke gets applied to the outer line but this area has been left out. To fix this, again expand the layer, go to effects, then go to stroke, then turn on this all max option like this. Now it is applied to this area. Let's turn off the solo. Now select this layer and search for an effect called blue us. Double click on it to apply. Now change the lightness to minus 52 and midtone green balance to minus 100. Now select the white stroke layer and press I on the keyboard to move the time anchor to the first frame. Now press T on the keyboard to open up the transparency property like this. Now at the very first frame, set the opacity to 100% and create a keyframe there. And move forward by 2 frames by using this next frame button like this. Now make the opacity to 0%. Again move forward by 2 frames like this and make the opacity to 100%. Again move forward by 2 frames and set the opacity to 0%. Again move forward by 2 frames and set the opacity to 100%. Again move forward by 2 frames and set the opacity to 0%. And again move forward by 2 frames. Let's zoom it little bit. and make it 100%. Now select all the keyframes and right click and choose toggle hold keyframe. Now let's zoom it little bit. Now move the time anchor to the third keyframe from right like this. And select the horizontal type tool and click once at the position where you want to add the dancer name like this. 
now type the dancer name let's say oliver now select the text layer and press p on the keyboard to open up the position property and adjust the position of the dancer name like this let's zoom out little bit now select this layer and press alt n open square bracket on the keyboard to cut out the portion before the time anchor like this now select the white stroke layer and press i on the keyboard to move the time anchor to the first frame like this now from here move forward the time anchor 30 frames for this we will press ctrl shift and right arrow key on the keyboard to move forward 10 frames like this again press ctrl shift and right arrow key to move 10 frames further like this and again repeat the process for the last time ctrl shift and right arrow key to move forward 10 frames now at this position select all three layers and press alt and close square bracket on the keyboard to cut out the portion behind the time anchor like this now select any of these layers and press i on the keyboard to move the time anchor to the first frame like this now select the dance com layer and press ctrl shift d on the keyboard to split the layer like this now again select this layer and press o on the keyboard to move the time anchor to the end frame like this now again select this layer and press the open square bracket on the keyboard to offset the layer to the time anchor like this let's zoom out little bit let's preview to see what we have created so far before that let's add a background music to this dance video for this go to project panel right click here go to import then go to file and select the background music now let's import the background music to the timeline like this now let's preview the video and see what we have created so far as you can see that the video starts playing right from the first frame and when it reaches this frame it freezes out and the name of the dancer pops out so in this way we can introduce a dancer in a dance video now let's create the same effect for the other dancers but before that if you have not subscribed to our channel make sure to subscribe us for more such videos now before creating the effect for the second dancer you have to choose the end point of the first dancer let's navigate to frames by using this next frame and previous frame button like this So this is the end point of the first dancer. Now let's select this layer and press Ctrl Shift D on the keyboard to split the layer like this. Now drag this layer to the top like this. Now we'll repeat all these steps for the second dancer to create the same effect. Now again let's choose a particular poster of the dancer using this next frame and previous frame button like this. So I am liking this poster. Now select this layer and press Ctrl D two times to duplicate the layers. Again select these two layers and press Alt and Open square bracket on the keyboard to cut out the portion before the time anchor like this. Now go to layer and then time and select freeze frames. Now select the top layer and select the paint tool and create a marks around the dancer. Now let's solo the layer. You can see that we have cut out the dancer. Let's turn off the solo. Now select this white stroke layer. Go to effects control and copy this stroke effect. Select this and go to edit and select copy. 
now select this layer and go to edit and paste so the white stroke gets applied to the dancer now again select all these keyframes press ctrl c on the keyboard to copy the keyframes and now select this layer and press ctrl v on the keyboard to paste the keyframes if you press u on the keyboard you can see that all the keyframes have been applied to this layer so let's zoom in little bit again move the time anchor to the third frame from right like this and add the name of the dancer let's say harry now select the layer and press p on the keyboard to open up the position property and adjust the position of the dancer name like this now select the layer and press alt and open square bracket on the keyboard to cut out the portion before the time anchor like this now select this layer press i on the keyboard to move the time anchor to the first frame like this now move forward 30 frames by pressing ctrl shift and right arrow key three times like this now select all the three layers and press alt and close the square bracket on the keyboard to cut out the portion after the time anchor like this now select any of these layers and press i on the keyboard to move the time anchor to the first frame like this now select this layer and press ctrl shift d on the keyboard to split the layer like this let's zoom out little bit for your understanding now select the layer again and press o on the keyboard to move the time anchor to the end frame like this now select this layer and press the open square bracket on the keyboard to offset the layer to the time anchor like this now again choose the end point of the second dancer for this again use this next frame and previous frame button like this So this is the end point of the second dancer and right on that point split the layer by pressing ctrl shift d on the keyboard again move this layer to the top and again repeat this all step for the third dancer after creating this effect for all the dancers the dance video will look like this So this is all for today, hope you guys like this video, if you did please subscribe to our channel for more such videos.